here on GoSoutheast.com, joined by interim head baseball coach Steve Beezer. And coach, you got to be really excited. First practice today. Uh, talk about how you and your staff are excited to uh, get this season going. Well, Nick, we've got uh, a very committed group of guys, and, and I think they've kind of uh, taken this underdog uh, approach of knowing that, that we lost a lot last year. And uh, they've really put in a lot of work in the off over the break here, over the Christmas break. And, and just done an outstanding job for the most part of getting themselves prepared and being ready to go this season. Now, talk about a little bit about uh, what you guys kind of do during, you do individual practices, but what's the difference between an individual practice and then you get to the team practices? Why don't you talk a little bit about the difference? Yeah, the, the biggest difference is, you know, while we're in individuals, we get a chance to really break down their, their skill set and work with them, uh, obviously, in an individual situation. Uh, the only problem with that time of the year is the time is very limited. We're, we're locked into two hours per week so typically what we'll do is we'll break it down into a four day 30 minute session or a five day 20 minute session and, and uh, get our guys just in here quickly go through their mechanical stuff and and uh, you know just make sure everything's lined out um, you know for for the team the team deal which we're getting ready to, to start here today uh, it's good because we can start getting the team concepts and start going over our approach on the field and how we're going to approach different opponents and and, and make sure that that, our, that we're comfortable with our system. You know, we had a great fall season. We were able to put in everything uh, that we want to use. And now it's just kind of, uh, you know, going over it, and making sure that, that we're ready ready to go on opening day. Now, three weeks from today, you guys open the season at New Orleans. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, kind of what you know about uh, New Orleans a little bit. Uh, they just made the jump back to Division One, but got a great facility, a great opportunity for you guys to go south and uh, really get the season going. Well, you know, I've done a lot of work as far as looking at, at what they have returning, uh, and, and and they are returning some key guys on their team. I think, uh, you know, if we look at our clubs, we both lost uh, quite a bit from, from the previous year. Uh, they're going to be hungry. They want to prove uh, that, that they're ready to make this jump back to, to the Division One level. And, you know, obviously we're on their home turf, and, and they're going to probably have a little advantage of us on weather as far as being able to get out and side more than uh, what we were capable of but you know we make the we make the most of everything that we have here and I think we do a good job and we have enough to make sure that we're ready uh, come opening day. Now how uh, nice is it to have the field turf outside right next to right here, right here in Howard you hit you can just go outside and you can really use that uh, most of the uh, winter time how uh, great of an advantage is that? You know our facilities here are, they're very convenient like you said Everything's right here, uh, located on one part of campus. We don't have to uh, get in cars and drive. You know, I've read some things where schools go out and they go to high schools that have field turf and, and they use that. But, you know, everything's right here where we can really create a good practice atmosphere. Uh, our turf football field, which is kind of uh, down in between a lot of buildings, so the wind, we're, we're sheltered from the wind, and, and we're, we're basically been able to get outside to do something just about every day since we've, since we've been back. Uh, you know, and, and, it, and with the sun shining on the turf, it, it's not it's not too cool out there at all. Our guys, uh, they want to get outside and they want to use that. But, uh, you know, we've got everything that we need here to, to get ready. All right, and finally, uh, College Sports Madness named uh, Derek Gibson, first team all-conference uh, preseason. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, what do you expect Derek to do this year, and then really kind of talk about how you're really going to have a really balanced lineup this year versus kind of relying on some other guys last year on most of yeah, you know, uh, very deserving. Derek had a great uh, breakout season last year and uh, has has continued to improve. You know, one of the things that, that we talk about is, is we're not going to put all the pressure on Derek Gibson to do exactly what he did last year because we're going to be more balanced as a team and and uh, and not rely on, you know, coming through the lineup whenever Derek gets to hit, you know, every, every rotational lineup because that's when we're going to count on things. We expect each guy in our lineup to uh, to contribute and, and not just be uh, you know a one man show and and uh, you know we hope Derek has the exact same year he had last year because it was a fabulous season and, and he deserves the honors that he received last year but we're not going to put that pressure on Derek and and like like you said I think we're very balanced up and down our lineup uh, we're going to be able to play great defense and, and we're going to, to be able to do the job on the mound. All right, well, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more uh, as we get uh, close to uh, February 15th. Thanks, Nick.